Welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack GU. I'll get to that email a little bit later. We've all leveled up a good bit, took care of all of the dungeons off screen, so we're all level 32 now. What do I have equipped? I have that equipped. I also dabbled a little bit in alchemy to get myself a poison zen plus two. I'll try to talk about alchemy a little bit later. It's kind of a neat little gimmick that they added to the game that back in the guild, home, house, whatever. Um, I haven't actually talked about it yet, but it was introduced a little while ago. But regardless, we are here to fight with Matsu of Moon Tree. So let's see what we got. 33, 32, 32. So we're pretty even. Matsu's got a level on me. And of all things, he's an adept rogue. Now, you tend, you really tend not to see many adept rogues in this game. In fact, other than Haseo, Matsu is one of two that come to mind that you encounter throughout the game. So, I'd say there are maybe three total. Now, the game actually handles Adept's Rogues, interestingly. I don't think they ever change weapons, so to say. So, it's... I don't know, we'll see more of that in a minute. Regardless, you actually shouldn't have too much trouble with this fight at this level, so... Off we go. Sure about this? I mean, fighting somebody from your own guild, Adelie? Oh yes, I got Sakaki's approval. After all, arena battles are different from personal ones. Sakaki, Sakaki, Sakaki. Man, you really listen to everything he says, don't you? Of course I do. Sakaki is a great man. Huh. What's so great about a guy who's trying to ruin his own guildmaster? Sakaki's not... He isn't like that. Where there's smoke, there's fire, you know. Huh? You just eat up whatever Sakaki tells you, don't you? In the end, you're always just spouting off someone else's opinions. That's not... Hey, maybe you should watch your back out there. Knowing Sakaki, he just might have ordered Adelie to hold back on purpose. All right, Haseo, quit it. That's going too far. Oh, well, it doesn't matter even if you do hold back in this fight, seeing how I'm going to win regardless. I'm surprised Sakaki can't even see. from Moon Tree's Guildmaster. Hi, everybody! I'm Zelkova! I hope that you'll enjoy the match along with me today. All right, this match is shaped up to be between Moon Tree and Canard. What are you looking forward to seeing, Mr. Zelkova? Well, I'd love to see the come-from-behind technique Haseo showed us in his last match. Are you sure about that? 
If he comes from behind, then that means Matsu will... Oh! They're here! It's Haseo! Natalie. Hey, hey, pay attention. What are you acting all laid back for? I'm gonna show you just how different you and I really are. Get ready to fight! Let's go! As I said, this match is actually a fairly easy one by, um, at this level. So I'm generally going to be using it as... I'm generally going to be using it as my regular, uh, excuse to build up some skill points. In fact, you'll be seeing me use the, um, broadsword a lot here shortly. Simply because I would really like to be able to get some skill with it. I'm kind of waiting for Matsu to use an ability or something. I'd like to finish off the other two if at all possible. The longer I can drag this out, the better. There's a guy coming after me. I think if I wanted to use that Awakening right now, I could pretty much end this match. I don't know, maybe I should try to end this a little bit faster. This is probably boring. Sales, putting up an admirable fight against Moon Tree's Maverick, Matsu. I don't know. Matsu isn't fighting seriously yet. This is kind of nice. Hmm? I haven't had this much fun in a while. What are you talking about now? Don't tell me you're giving up already. Hardly. The real fight's just beginning. What do you mean? Aren't you fighting seriously? A long time ago, Matsu used to be a famous PK known as the Flame Sword Demon. When he came to join Moon Tree, he sealed away his main weapon. And he did this in order to separate himself from his past. Forget the lucky victory stuff I said. But it still doesn't change the fact that you're gonna lose. Okay. From now on, I'm fighting for real. <gasps> Unbelievable! This is an unexpected surprise. Could this spell trouble for Team Haseo? Yes, that's right. His main weapon of choice is a broadsword. That's the same one he used during his PK days. Flame sword. So you've been holding back until now. Perfect. Show me what you've got. Here I go! As I mentioned, Matsu is, a, a, is an adept rogue. So he can switch between his weapons. Used the... Um, steam gun throughout the first half of the match. As soon as he brings HP down to half, he breaks out. Ah, oh, you jerk! As soon as he brings HP down to half, he breaks out this, though. There's one down. Now, to be honest, as much as they hype it up, the fight has actually changed very little. Leave her alone! I will say the broadsword is very good for keeping enemies stunned. Tiger 
So it's nice for that, but I still prefer Twin Blades myself. And now I'm just waiting on Matsu. And even Adelie smacked him a few times. Come on, Matsu, use an ability or something. I want to get my... You jerk! He knew I was waiting on him. Has defeated Matsu, the Maverick from Moontree! Now then, Mr. Zelkova, what do you think of this match's result? Huh? What the? He's gone! Mr. Zelkova, where are you? Where did you go? Well now, this is an interesting development. I didn't expect for you to be this good, Haseo. I guess the perfect time to move the pawns into position has finally arrived. Are you satisfied now that your darling Haseo has finally won? I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I used my forbidden weapon. I'll take the heat. I bet you would be relieved to have a troublemaker like me leave your precious guild moon tree, right? So, are you satisfied? Huh? You've been looking for a chance to throw that weapon away all this time. The reason you couldn't do that was because you had never come across anyone strong enough to truly test your skill with it. Now that you fought Haseo, you must be truly satisfied. In that case, throw that sword away and be reborn. To become the real Matsu of Moon Tree. Yeah, it's just as you say. You're right, Master Zelkova. I have no regrets. Hey, Haseo, that was a pretty good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. You just wouldn't go down. <laughs> Got something for you. We'll just call this a little something to remember this day by. If you feel like it, go ahead and use this sword. Later. I don't want this! Damn. He's gone. Hey, Adelie! I guess what happened in the waiting room is still bothering her. <sighs> I hate Sakaki as much as the next guy. And I'll admit Adelie is being really stupid about this, but get dang it, Haseo, you're making it really hard for me to like you as a protagonist. Got some mail, though. So off we go. Oh, 
Now let's see what we got. We got something new on the forum. Heck yeah, a new Opkalo. Done by a fan of the commentator in the arena. The announcer. The guy's got some power behind his voice, though. He's got some enthusiasm. Heat Man! Him with his big ol' sword. Then let's see here. We got people saying, uh... It's like, oh, he's awesome, he's a really great guy, I love this guy, he's so great, da 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 da. And, uh, hey, this guy looks awesome too. Oh, and it, actually, if you, um, you'd think the name being P would mean this is indeed Pyrrhos, but no, it's not. If you read through here, he actually, uh, kind of insults him. It's like he says there, speaking of hot people, I also saw this guy who was strangely fired up, almost obnoxious. Kind of funny to watch. Heck yeah, because that's what Pyrrhos does. Hey. We got a slightly more on the regular, on the, uh, regular player side. Still a nifty looking drawing. Got some more Chim Chim pictures. Mushroom Chim! Uh, more talk about Chim Chims, and how awesome they are, and Chim Bread. More talk about Chim Chims and how tasty they are, and somebody that got a tattoo. That is a real-life tattoo, heck yeah. Ah, uh, good times. Either way, we have mail. Now, the email that I got at the start of the video was actually from CC Corp. This is a notice that I am got the guild up to rank 2. Now, how guild rank works is if you go in to look at the Book of 1000, as you build things up, if you max out a stat, you raise that stat's level. Now, in the first game, the stats cap at level 3. And I finally managed to get all of them up to level 2, in which case we're notified that the guild itself has reached level 2. And that we get some extra stuff out of it, like um, additional uh, storage, and we can sell more stuff from the shop at once. Anyway. Alright. Oh, and that's the end of Gaspard's email chain. And Pyrrhos found something at Hilden Forbidden Bulwark. A new triage sign. I've got to go check it out. Every little lead we can get on triage, even if it comes from Pyrrhos. The storyline as a whole kind of wrapped up in entrance in the tournament and whatnot, but still looking for triage. So we're gonna head back to Delta. So, Triage's sign was located in Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark. Ah, the Morag Barrow Wall. Are you expecting the criminal to return to the scene of the crime? Isn't that too cliché, Ovan? Hm. So, what do you think is located on the other side of this wall? There's nothing. The graphics for backgrounds that can't be seen by the players 
are not rendered in order to save processing power. That's just like you. Yata. But I can feel it. It feels like there's something being held back behind this wall. This place is a prison. A prison? That was very dramatic and quite poetic, considering it came from you, Ovan. However, in that case... The question is, between the existence that lies beyond the wall and us, which is the one that is in the prison? I'm going to leave before the pursuer gets here. My comrade, it's you! Thank you for coming! The sign made by the hated Triedge is this way. He might come back at any time. Let us wait and ambush him. An ambush? Really? Well, I guess an ambush works if you know when he's gonna come hey, back. He'll see you. Go, get away from there. I can't even look at it, really. You're sure the triage is going to show up here? Of course. My animal instincts tell me that criminals always return to the scene of the crime. Don't tell me. You love cop shows, right? Well, even if he returns, for whatever reason he would return, there's no telling if he's coming back any time this year or this century. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you handle this one, Piros. Call me if you see anything. Hey, more email, just in time. Terrace. Lumina cloth. Jeez, old man. At least write down what you want. Well, he's blunt. Gets the point across, though. Terrace is calling me. Guess I'll go to Lumina Cloth. <laughs> 